Let's not talk about the Minecraft movie trailer. It's weird, yeah, it is, it's weird. <gasps> Ooh, you know what I saw? A game that looked like it was made for me. And I put it in my wish list because it was really impressive what the dev said. And I think something that has needed to be said for a while. I'm trying to find it. Oh, Jesus. Where's my, how do you, how do I find my wish list? Steam, I'm old. Give me a break here. How, here we go. It's called The Forever Winter. Has anybody heard of this? I just heard about this a couple days ago. Listen to what this fucking Chad of a developer says. These past few months, we've had an outpour of positive reception from you guys around what we're creating. And we really want to get that game out to you sooner. That's why we're diving right into early access on September 24th, 2024. And a heartfelt thank you to everyone who participated in the beta. The team has been rocking around the clock to incorporate a ton of the feedback you guys gave us, and we can't wait to share the progress. Now, I don't believe anyone should have to pay more than 50 USD for a game. Thank you! Preach! Preach! And if you want to support the team above and beyond the initial price point, that is awesome, and we really appreciate it. There will be a special edition with the game's soundtrack and Jason's awesome tunes. But that Spit should be it. your choice based on how much you guys dig the game. So the Forever Winter is gonna be $27 at early access. There will be zero pay to win solutions. <laughs> you will earn your gear via skill or luck and you will not be able to buy your way into your bottom. You will never be charged for a new character because that's the way it should be when you buy a game. You will not be charged for maps guns, additional quests, new bosses, and more. That nickel and diming shit is for the birds. <laughs> we will charge for skin packs, and any sales there will go to supporting the character team and, and allowing and us to make even more baller characters in the future. Now, why do all this? I fondly remember a time growing up in the 90s when you could go to Comp USA and buy a box copy of Command & Conquer, yes! Giant Citizen Kabuto, or KKND for 50 bucks or less and be set for months. Yes! I'm really hoping we can get back there. Now for the roadmap. We really respect what the homies did with Ready or Not. Having the balls to release gray box maps into their map lineup was incredible. So we're taking a page out of their book. We will give you one work in progress map early so you guys can scope it out, have some He's fun. He's like talking about the games that the inspired them. Like this is great, back, So we Man. can make them even more kick ass when they drop fully. Serious. Taking it one step further, we want the community to get a chance to vote on which bosses and which features we bring online first in our post-launch plan. <laughs> Anyone who bought the game will get access to an exclusive channel in our Discord. There, you will be able to vote on what or who drops next. The art team and our brothers at Evolve 512 broke our backs to make sure we planned months in advance to give you guys the post-apocalyptic road trip Dead. you deserve. And if the game does well, shit. We want to bring this art style to entirely new environments. In shit. Future. Like this guy. It's going to be a wild ride. I love, yeah, I love this guy. What the fuck? Now let's talk hosting. Sit. Regardless this. of how many people play, you will always be able to play with your friends locally and via peer-to-peer -peer hosting. Holy oh, fucking oh, shit. Peer to fucking peer. Hello? you it's like we solved this back in 1996 you know like we had we, we have the technology wow who would have fucking thunk it thank god dude i don't even care if i don't even like i'm it's very possible i might not even like the game okay but you bet your sweet ass i'm gonna be supporting the ever-living shit out of this <laughs> we learned from the nightmare some of our industry colleagues have gone through this past year yeah. So that means no infinite loop matchmaking bugs and no flooded servers where you can't jump into what you just bought. We oh, did this man. so that no matter what happens, when you buy our game, you can jump in and rock and roll. Thank you. Even if it's solo. Fucking If you want to reach you. out to the dev team, hit up the Discord. There's a ton of homies in there that love Grimdark just as and much this, as we do. This game looks sick, by the way. Now on a more somber note, these past few months, we lost Spec Ops The Line, Project Boundary, and now they are shutting down the Battlefield 3 servers. <laughs> the 
reality is, in the never-ending quest for profit, they are closing the gate on some really special games that inspired us. Games cost more now to develop than they ever have, and that means risk mitigation is priority one, two, and three. And remember, it's not their fault. They're a product of their environment. And that's why this year has been so inspiring to see other crews breaking out of that muck to bring the magic. One ammo belt at a time. One ammo belt at a time. Lastly, <laughs> words cannot express how much we appreciate your support. People from all nations and all ages have reached out. Dude, this looks so just to say, badass. Thanks for going there and handling the subject with the care and energy it deserves. This means we're not alone in hoping we see a new kill zone, a gritty battlefield. Yeah. Maybe a new Command and Conquer title. Yeah. It's not a bloody mobile game. Yeah. Fucking but if the fuck response mobile to what we're building is any indicator. Yeah. Maybe they will find the guts to bring those games back. The right Can you imagine way. a new kill zone? And in the meantime, we'll see you guys in the wasteland. Oh, dude. September 24th, 2024. Hell yeah. <laughs> Fucking per reach. I love you, calls up. <laughs> a new Command and Conquer. That's not a bloody mobile game. That's so good. Dude, I am going to support this shit out of this game and this studio. He said what needed to be said. Thank you. Holy fucking shit. Also, we'll just, we'll just watch. We'll just watch this, too, because this is also, like... This looks so. The oh, the music! Also, listen to this. By tactical survival horror shooter that takes place in a future where massive armies are skinning the bones of our once beautiful Earth. Oh! Oh, that you fucking are a scavenger. Lovingly metal garbage scav. can snare drum. Oh! Ecosystem, you assume the role of looter and survivor, trapped between two warring military factions of the future, each with their own objectives. I want the soundtrack, dude. Undersupplied and constantly under attack. I want to remix this. You must rely on cooperation and cunning to survive even minor enemy contact. This looks really good. I don't know what engine this is. Situational awareness is key in this world. <coughs> Stop, look, and listen. Trigger discipline will save your life. A target missed is a bullet wasted. The baseline almost sounds a little bit like this fighting. is America. <laughs> it does. It does. And get away with. <laughs> Every time you open fire, you are ringing the dinner bell. Make it worth it. Yeah, this, this shit looks insane. Dude, this looks so sick. Welcome home, deep down in the guts of the city. Refugees seek shelter here, and they choose your level because you have one of the few things that matter. Water. H2O brings traders, shops, and allied mercenaries that have your six. If you want to survive, you'll need to pick up jobs from the two warring factions. Be smart about the jobs you take. The more a faction controls a sector, like the more this is, man? they will deploy. In the menus? And the more dangerous it becomes. The more jobs you do, the more jobs you'll get. You know what this has? Like, and the longer you'll keep everyone alive. The engine? The engine? This looks a little bit like... I get Gears of War vibes. Like UDK. Like the Unreal Engine 3.5 kind of shit right but like with just a, a bit touch more you know a little more detail and stuff like i, I like this look but it, it's very it has a very kind of like gears of war grimy kind of look to it and i i, I really dig this style i don't know what engine is in this world all on their own so don't be afraid to help others when you can donation stations are made available where high level vets can share gear with low level baby scavs <laughs> you were in their shoes once too i like that that's cool here you can customize your rig, an innovative modular platform that grants you advanced ability. I can see being UE4. Pneumatic jump allows you to quickly traverse rough terrain and reach hard to get drops. That's Turrets fine. allow you to shred, at least for a short time. And scanners allow you to scout ahead to plan your route. Fucking wall hacks, okay. You want guns? You've got them. Modify and upgrade your firearms for the jobs you take. Hell yeah. Always remember. Love it. The more gear and ammo you bring in, the less you can carry out. So spec accordingly. So I, I think, I think, don't quote me on this, this is an extraction shooter. And we, we know the struggle extraction shooters have been having. This could be the game that like actually solidifies the the genre i think i think tarkov is really the best extraction shooter and it has its fair share of issues 
I think this could uh, do this. It, everything looks so sick. I'm excited for this. And I get, and what's crazy, what's crazy, it's an extraction shooter that's going to have local peer-to-peer -peer hosting. That's great. That means if you don't want to deal with PvP, I'm assuming that means if you don't like PvP, you can just hop in with your friends in private, right, and just co-op PvE, which is what I would do because I'm not a fan of PvP. Which is why I don't, I didn't really get into Tarkov that much. Because you're kind of forced into the PvP aspect. So, like, that's fucking huge. That's huge. That's so good. That's, like, that's underratedly good. Good, good, good. Fucking good. <laughs> yeah, this is UE5. I mean, they did a good job of making it not look like UE5. Which is also kind of an important thing. Because there's a lot of, like, indie games out there that kind of just take the stock look you know, like, you know how you know when it's a UE5 game, and that's because they just don't really change shit. Like, UE5 is such a versatile engine, you can make it look like anything. And unfortunately, a lot of lazy developers out there that just kind of go with the default skin, essentially. Which is why there's kind of, like, a negative reputation with, oh, it looks like an Unreal Engine 5 game, right? This I, I wouldn't have guessed this is UE5. Again, I got, like, that Gears of War gritty vibe, like, old school UDK, like, Unreal Engine 3.5 kind of look so that that's good that's a really good thing it looks like these guys have put in the fucking work yeah oh my God. i'm like i'm like legitimately i haven't been this excited about a game in a while like even Baldur's gate i wasn't excited about until i started playing it this is a game i'm excited about before i really even know much <laughs> about it you know before it's out so oh yeah i'll play it on stream absolutely yeah once you're kitted up it's time to enter the macro city of lost angels Megastructure is meant to house millions lie vacant while automated underground also, factories churn out There's fucking Max, let's fucking go! War machines by the minute. We got As Mech War, war rages baby! And destroys the world by day. <laughs> AI driven machines also, nicknamed the Night Shift War Rages and destroys the world by day. Look at look at this shit. Look at this. This is art. The fucking hands coming like bro. Some of this shit. A little HR Geiger kind of ish, you know, or like just like that. You know, I, I almost got like scorn vibes a little bit. Like, oh, this looks so cool. Day. AI driven machines nicknamed the Night Shift. Yeah, super industrial, like semi horror vibe. Rebuild by night. Recovery. You like, look at this. Yeah, Attack on Titan shit kind of fucking like, what the fuck? Night stalk the streets, dragging the wounded and the dead to be harvested. Look at, look at the fucking claws. Like, interested for their organs. <laughs> Learn your surroundings. Avoid patrols, and maybe you can make it out alive. Oh, man. Ah, oh, I have the music, man. I'm like... Every job has rewards and consequences. The details matter. Make sure to dig into the intel thoroughly before heading out. Yeah. Missions may include sabotaging faction facilities. Right. It feels like collecting debts. Extraction shooter. And good old-fashioned MDKs. No matter how easy you think the job is, don't get complacent. Things can change at the track. Look, look at this shit, bro! <laughs> if by some chance you find something of real value, you will be hunted. And the factions will send bosses that far exceed your fire team's capabilities. Dude. Take note of their weaknesses and plan your strategy to take them down. Even fully geared, it will require coordination, teamwork. You can fight these fucking things? What the fuck? And a bit of luck. Oh, there are only three man. types of scavs. The fast, the smart, and the no. dead. So don't be ashamed to retreat if the fighting gets too hot. Remember, there are no heroes here. Just a few men and women running around in the dark with half-empty magazines. Dude. Forever. Dude. Yes. Holy... Can we... Any more round of applause? Oh, man. Dude, this looks so sick. This looks so sick. I want to play this so bad. You know what it also like with the like the the robot fucking evil robot shit reminds me of you guys ever see the movie Nine, the animated film? Yeah. I get huge vibes of that. Yeah. What the fuck? Whoa, wait, we got some like system shock, human integrated into robotic fucking shit. You know, like the, the Cortex Reaver that sucks you up if you die in system shock and you become like a fucking brain for it. Look at the, bro. <laughs> oh man. 
Dude, look at some of this art style, man. Again, this is why I got that, like, almost like the Scorn vibe a little bit, you know? Like, yeah. I am wishing all the luck and fucking success for this game. This, this is the shit we need, all right? Bring it back. Let's bring it back, baby. So good. This is, I, I can't wait. I'm excited.